people to a new welcome welcome my name is Reke and to my subbies thank you for returning I really really appreciate your support thank you thank you thank you to everyone who has subscribed I appreciate each and every one of you so today's um, video is on some of the mistakes that uh, people do that work in a laboratory so we tend to get too comfortable uh, if i may put it that way that we forget that we work in a very um, dangerous environment and we don't follow um, proper i guess you know procedure so today's video is to remind us that even though we used to uh, working in the laboratory but things can go wrong and we need to be prepared for that so no long talking let's get straight into the video so unfortunately today's video couldn't be taken in an actual laboratory but obviously i'm not trying to get myself fired so i'll try to improvise with some of the so I say, situations that i'm trying to point out to you does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So let's get started. One of the biggest mistakes that we do in the lab is wearing a PPE incorrectly. I'm also guilty of that. I tend not to button up my lab coat. Um, uh, but sometimes, you know, some people may have their lab coat button up, but they're not wearing their safety goggles. Or they might have their safety goggles, but they're wearing incorrect shoes. I've actually seen people come in the lab with um, sandals, like I'm wearing right now in the video. Uh, or even worse, high heels. I've seen people come into the lab with high heels. I mean, you know, we, um, what's this, splash things on the floor acid it could be water you could slip and fall so let's try to be more you know careful and you know remember all those all those safety um precautions that we were taught back at university it's like we've forgotten all of that you know when once we we, we, we start working we forget all of that and we do our own thing and we forget that things can go wrong in the lab Another mistake that I've seen people do in the lab is not tying their hair. Let's pretend that the green lamp on the table is actually a Bunsen burner. You will realize as I move that my hair touches the lamp. If that was a real Bunsen burner, I would have burnt my hair. So let's try guys to tie a hair properly. Make sure that there are no hair strands, you know, poking out or let's just tie our hair properly. The third mistake is having super long nails. Nails that are so long that they hinder you from doing some of your lab work. For example, let's say you need to run um, UV. And then now you can't actually hold the cuvette or you can't even put the cuvette inside the UV spectrometer. Now you have to go and ask either your colleague or whoever to come and put the cuvette inside the UV spectrometer so you in a way inconveniencing other people so let's keep our nails nice and short the mistake that people do is that they do their lab work once they're done they go to a common area without removing their gloves they start touching things uh, in this video, I use this laptop as an example. Let's say that this laptop is a common laptop. Everybody uses it. I do my lab work and then I go and search for whatever it is that I need to search for with my gloves on. And then I leave. Somebody comes in and start using the very same laptop. They don't know what I was working, what, I, what chemicals I was working with. And then they start using the laptop and then they leave. They forget to wash their hands, they start biting their nails or they're scratching their face or whatever it is. Now they've ingested 
uh, the chemicals that I was using or they've transferred the chemicals onto their face. So let's try guys to remove um, gloves before we start touching things that other people use. Another mistake that people do is actually doing their lab work while they're listening to music. And they're listening to music with their headphones. So obviously when you're listening to music with your headphones, you're not aware of what's going on around you. Because you're playing this music so loud and you're just enjoying it and you're not aware of what's going on around you. And this poses a huge, huge, huge danger in such a way that if anything were to happen in the lab or in the building, you will not be aware because you're just listening to your music and you're in your own zone and you're not aware of what's going on. And I understand some people work best with music on. If that's the case, then rather have a radio playing so that should there be anything that happens, you're aware and you're able to vacate the building. Another mistake that people do is deliberately ignoring the emergency alarm. They think, oh, well, it's probably just another, you know, fire drill and I don't really have to vacate the building. But this is one of the most dangerous and selfish decisions that anyone can do. Not only does it put you at risk, but it puts other people, such as your safety officers, at risk. They need to account for each and every single person in the building if anyone is unaccounted for they have to go back and look for them so that puts them at risk so rather be safe and keep everyone safe and just if you hear the alarm just vacate the building you can always come back and do your level rather than putting other people and yourself at risk let's stay safe Another mistake that people do is disposing of waste incorrectly. You'll see in the video I've got chlorinated and non-chlorinated waste and I have chlorinated and non-chlorinated waste containers. In the first instance, which is the incorrect way of disposing, I dispose my uh, non-chlorinated waste inside the chlorinated container and then I take the chlorinated uh, waste and pour it in the non-chlorinated waste container. This is wrong. If you're not sure of how to dispose of waste, rather ask somebody. Just tell them what's inside your your waste and then they can help you how to dispose of your waste because it is really expensive for companies to actually uh, dispose of waste because if they're not labeled correctly, they will end up having to pay more because there are other things in the container that they're not supposed to be there. So rather ask, or if you're not sure, 
just ask how to dispose of your waste. Another example is if people throw in broken glasses or syringes inside a bin that is designated for paper towel. Someone comes and cleans the, the bin and they get, you know, uh, what's this, stabbed or cut by glass because you've decided to dispose your glass inside a bin that is designated for paper towel. Let's do the right thing in the lab. Thank you guys for watching my video until the end. I truly, truly appreciate it. So basically, as I've said in the beginning, this video was just aimed at reminding us that we're working in a very dangerous um, environment. So we need to take precautions. We need to be safe. So every time you go to the lab, try to remember all these things and take, you know, all these things into consideration that safety, our safety comes first. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and follow me on Instagram. Let's stay safe and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.